all forms of support in one document. The Belarusian government is preparing a unified regulatory act that will clearly outline the mechanisms for preferential financing in housing construction. This was announced today by Deputy Prime Minister Anatoly Sivak at a joint session of the two chambers of parliament. This format allows addressing issues that concern people directly to the government. Today the focus was on the most popular topics. These are housing and utilities, construction and transport. Anton Maliuda on the most interesting from the Oval Hall. On the day of national unity, they open the session and literally a week later, another meeting. Deputies and senators prepare for the government hour, no less than ministers or deputy prime ministers. They gather people's opinions in the districts, what concerns the voters. When working in the districts, we see that voters are concerned about housing and utilities, the transport complex. Of course, this includes the improvement of our settlements, road maintenance, territories, and transport communication. As for the countryside, there is concern. Some transport issues, people turn to the Council of the Republic during meetings with voters. For a person from a village, for example, getting to the city poses certain difficulties. The most popular topics about conditions for a comfortable life. And it starts with having a roof over your head. Since the beginning of the year, more than two million square meters have been introduced. This is about half of the annual target. And by the way, every fourth apartment is with state support. Now there's another mechanism. It will be easier for enterprises to build rental housing for their employees. The state will compensate part of the loans taken. We will monitor, work with departments, enterprises, and regions to translate this into reality, to have these agreements to start operating with volume. Planned under this decree, and everything is open for work. In Belarus, they build not only houses, but also roads. Modern highways are appearing in place of outdated roads. By the end of the year, they will complete the M3 section from Logoisk to Pleschenitsi and R46 from Sorochino to Polotsk. All this is a direct route to St. Petersburg, and for cargo transportation, a quality surface is definitely needed. Not only between, but also within cities, new streets and avenues are appearing. This makes trips faster and more comfortable. The public transport fleet is being updated. This year, we plan for the regions to purchase more than 700 buses, electric buses, trams, and trolley buses. Next year, we also aim for at least a 10% renewal of public transport. That's the same number, over 700. Electric transport is becoming more common, as seen in Jodino and Shklov, where electric buses run through the streets. In Minsk, they will develop the city electric train, thus implementing global experience. The project will solve the problem of long waits for transport. Although residents of small settlements most often address this issue to deputies and senators, no request goes unanswered and is thoroughly worked out with local authorities. Today, in the Oval Hall, they talked about more global issues for the entire industry. With the phased introduction of the transport register in passenger transportation and corresponding requirements, there are grounds to believe that some carriers, like taxi services and drivers, will not cope with these requirements. Could you please tell us if the, the Ministry of Transport and Communications conducted any analytical work on this matter to minimize these consequences? The decree was adopted to enforce these requirements that are prescribed. We were assured by taxi services that they meet these requirements. So, if they met and continue to meet these requirements, there are no problems today for entering the register. And another popular area is housing and utilities. Most citizen appeals and conclusions about how the government works. Much has been done already, with more than 80 de-ironing stations built since the beginning of the year. Quality water reaches even remote settlements. Elevators are being updated. There are practically none left that operate beyond their term. But what concerns people most is housing repairs and again roads. The pothole problem should be a thing of the past. There are no problems with funding, not only this year but also last year. The pace we have set and plans for next year allow us to say that we will fulfill the president's directive. In the near future, they will work on roads to agro towns. 300 kilometers of roads will be paved all for a comfortable life for people. This is the work of the most popular sectors and the entire state as a whole. The meeting lasted more than two hours. As you can see, parliamentarians left the Oval Hall after 12. 
and most of this time was devoted to answering questions about housing and utilities, transport and construction. Following today's meeting, the relevant departments will prepare a detailed report on their work, achievements, and development plans so that deputies and senators have detailed information to use in their work with the population. Anton Milyuda, Olga Onishchenko, Dmitry Garkusha, and Alexa Yunosh. First informational, 